Hi Virgos, welcome to my channel Answers by Divine. This is going to be for your quarterly love reading uh, for the month of October, November and December. So as usual, we will start off with the uh, yes or no. So if you have got a question, take a moment, think about your, que uh, your question and um, phrase it carefully. Be very specific about the time, the place and the person's name. So for example, you met someone this year in the month of April from where at where and the person's name is what okay so just be very um, specific about what you're asking so this is the first question we'll look at yes or no and then if you have got a second question we will draw further messages message cards okay and uh, those will complement the whole reading or if not it will be for your second or your third question okay so let's begin one last shuffle for the sign of virgos for this last quarter of 2018 three months reading yes or no for the questions that virgos have to ask major arcanas and even number will be yes even number will be two four six eight ten so if you haven't got your question ready, please take a pause. Otherwise, I'm going to reveal to you the answer right now. Alright, so Virgos, towards your question that you're asking, we have got three cards of yes. Alright, so we've got ten of pentacles in reverse, four of pentacles in reverse, and the tower in an upright position. So... This three cards to me is driving towards a fateful event. So whatever that you're asking about, whoever that you met, whoever that you are with, whatever is happening to you, your love life right now, this is a fateful event. I mean, the way I'm looking at this card, but doesn't really matter. All right. But so, so for the first card, we have got a Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Ten of Pentacles. All right. So this Ten of Pentacles is about... Um, it is feeling like a more like a twin flame than to a soulmate. This is just a, a, a analogy over here. Like it feels right with 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 this person. The feeling feels right. Everything else feels right, but things might not be happening for you. Ten of Pentacles in reverse is like so near yet so far, so near yet so far. Yeah. So it's like you met someone, but how is it that? How is it that it feels like you're just that much away, that far away, that far off from from your final destination, your final ultimate goal between the both of you, alright? So Ten of Pentacles is just missing it by that much. The next card we have got over here, it is Four of Pentacles in Reverse. So this Four of Pentacles in Reverse is a lot about letting go, letting loose. And the next card, the third card, we have the Tower, alright? So the tower is about an ending and a new beginning, a new cycle, a, a vicious cycle that has ended, vicious or not, but a cycle that is bound to end, has ended, needs to end, and a new beginning. So with this, when we say an ending, it doesn't really mean the end of a relationship. It can be ending of a behavior, uh, ending of a vicious cycle, like, you know, someone did someone real bad and they... Uh, and and this person actually stopped doing what they do so this is what it means by ending of a vicious cycle it doesn't really mean that both of you two people two persons needs to be uh, separated okay so the long answer short it is a yes on the table if it's too too complicated for you to to address to uh to to address uh the, the meaning of each card into onto your question just take it as a yes all right so the next we will draw we will draw the angel answers okay so with this angel answers it can be for your second question all right otherwise it should complement the whole of this reading or if not towards your first question as well all right so for Virgos for the sign of Virgos for the sign of Virgos, what do we have for angel answers? One last shuffle for the sign of Virgos. Alright. 
we have got yes again. So the first, so angel answers, it says yes. Okay. Usually it is in messages, is it it is in short messages like that, but there's this particular card where it says yes. Okay. So for the first for the first yes or no we have yes. For the second for the second question, for the second card we have yes again. Okay. So let's draw the next message card. Okay, this is a message card. Let's see what is the guided message for the sign of Virgos uh, for the third question or if not for this last quarter of 2018. For the sign of Virgos. What is the guided message that we have for the sign of Virgos? One last shuffle for the sign of Virgos. Okay. The next message we have is the unicorn, good fortune and friendship. Okay. So if you have got a third question, this is it. Good fortune and friendship. So we'll come back to decipher what it actually means for you in your reading, in your overall love reading. So the next we actually have got the crystal ball as well again. So I would but I wouldn't spend time to focus just on that crystal ball. I'll just look at it as I shuffle for the next deck. So the next I will lay I will lay your three months uh forecast, your three months forecast for you. Before while while laying the cards, I will just try to tune in and get messages from the crystal ball. This is a love crystal ball, pink. Pink crystal ball is for love, alright? So what do we have for Virgos? Stepping up. Virgos, I'm hearing stepping up. Some of you are trying to step up. Step up uh, on taking an action. Step up on maybe giving a chase. Step up on connecting, contacting someone. Step up on your your positioning with someone. Maybe with a, with a lover, with a, with a partner. Like... There might be some someone else uh, for for whoever that you might be seeing, who, whoever that you might be in love with. There might they, you might have competitors for for you for yourself. All right. So something like stepping up, stepping up, or even progress, progress to the next stage, progress to the next level. All right. So they're stepping up, trying to get to know, trying to get to know. <coughs> Trying to get to know a person, trying to know someone in more in depth, trying to get to know uh more information, trying to get to know. So there's this keyword of you trying to get to know. There might be mystery unresolved, mysteries unresolved before or pertaining to a specific someone whom you might be dealing with, your partner, your marriage partner. Uh, or a new date, a new love that you recently just found, just met. Talking. I feel like conversation, like you will need to speak up. Virgos, you will need to speak up or you want to speak up. You want to talk, like you want to connect. You want to connect with someone very closely. You are constantly stalking, checking out someone. So... But only because you want to talk, you want to look at the time, the available time, are they available? Uh, when when is their last available time stamp and things like that. So by the way, by way of stalking, you're actually wanting to know about the someone's schedule, someone's availability before you hit on them during times where they might not be available. But the thing is that Virgos, I'm seeing that when whoever that you are dealing with uh, or that there might be people coming towards you but when I see that when people come towards you, you shun away, you shy away and you just try to try to behave like cool, very cool, like as though they mean nothing to you. You try to behave like, okay, we are just friends and you're my good friend, you're my best friend, I'm always here for you but we are still just friends. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing people coming towards you and then you just turn your back away. Like, and then you act as though like they mean nothing to you.
presenting the truth and some of you Virgos you might not be saying the truth presenting the truth or presenting all about you sharing all about you so it's like you want to know about someone else but you're not sharing about yourself as well so could this be a distance this could be something that's uh, like a roadblock in your love life in your love relationship because people do not know people don't know enough about you and you know when there is no when when you haven't shared enough about yourself there's no common common grounds there's no um, similar wavelength between the both of you then how do you connect from there so but in short it is just you not sharing enough about you you're not talking enough about you it is always about them it is always about them and I see you being enthusiastic about them very into them into your partner or someone else your new date and this might have frightened them off frightened them off all right so that's all for your crystal ball messages let's see what is on the cards for you okay i'm actually ready but i'm trying to get more messages for you virgos so let's see for virgos for three months october november and december so we are starting off the month with there is this no not the month sorry we are starting off the quarter with ten of swords in reverse so ten of swords in reverse is about communication not going through it's like there is a fallout there is a breakup but still it's still ongoing it's still ongoing so there's undesirable content or undesirable conversation that you are having you're talking with someone but the outcome or the topic the content of the conversation whenever the both of you talk or whenever you talk with your new newly acquainted date or lover all right it always ended up on the other side of the fence okay so communication seems to be uh seems to be one of the major key challenges or major roadblocks for you but i see that virgos you have a plan you have a plan with this person like you have a plan for this person to be a part of your life okay but it might just be it is it might just be looking like one-sided it's like maybe only you wanted it or the other party the other person wanted it but it is so there's differences over here someone wanted it and someone didn't wasn't as keen or as interested as the other person so there is this differences misalignment between two of you okay and it could be also because of this misalignment when it comes to uh, desire uh, or like when talk about any other agenda or topic all around there could be this misalignment and there's always this agreement that ended up in a heated uh, heated argument okay it seems to me virgo within this dynamic for those of you who are couple in a in a, in a already in a relationship a marriage a long-term relationship for those of you who are a couple, it, it looks to me like someone has given up over here. Someone has given up or will be, given, be giving it up, giving up on either you, they giving up on you or they giving up on this relationship. Okay? For those of you who are single, you might have given up on your own love life. Like you stop seeking for one, you stop looking out for yourself. But there would be unexpected changes. Unexpected changes. So for those of you who are in a relationship, the unexpected changes is as they as they go towards thinking that they might want to give up on this relationship, thinking that they might want to give up on you, but somehow there is a twist to the storyline that
it will not be ending okay so depending on your situation right now Virgos depending on your situation right now it looks to me there is a twist for those of you who are single and who has got no one else or who feels like oh you do not have any hope anymore in your love life hang on okay for those of you who feels hopeless towards your love life there is a twist to the storyline all right there is a change we have got the death card so whatever vicious cycle will end has will end uh, should end will ultimately come to an end so the vicious cycle for those of you who are single is that you will ultimately get hitched within this quarter all right for those of you who are feeling feeling hopeless about a relationship like a relationship is hopeless a person is hopeless there will be a change there will be a shift in the energy there will be a shift in the dynamic of this relationship all right uh it is it can only be these two and i don't see it will not be for those of you who are in a good place in a relationship and in a good place that the relationship is working out fine and well there is no such situation in this reading but for those of you who are in this this reading might not uh, might not be for you you can hop on all right so we are looking at because over here we have this four of swords all right four of swords and the world in reverse so when these two four of swords is about this is about someone stop thinking when you stop thinking meaning to say you have given up someone has given up over here and the world is re in reverse I give up because like it will never work it will never work towards me I will never get what I want all right so someone over here has given up so it can only be this be it be this two situation for those of you who are in a hopeless relationship and for those of you whose love life feels like hopeless all right there will be a tweak there'll be a change an end to a vicious cycle vicious cycle will be those of you who are single who has been single for the longest time okay the death card is here a vicious cycle and towards those who are in a hopeless hopeless relationship there will be a change to uh, a tweak to the storyline okay so for those of you who are in a good place this specific message for you might not be relevant might not be for you but maybe the above where conversation and communication always ends up uh, ends up nasty for the both of you okay there is a deep hidden there is a deep hidden issue between the both of you for those of you who are in a relationship there is a deep rooted hidden uh, unspoken issue between the both of you the both of you know about this like between the both of you there is a thorn in this relationship there is a broken line in this relationship where it hasn't been jowled back it it hasn't been healed it hasn't been addressed before for those of you who are single there is a it will be you having uh, hidden fear hidden fear hidden f or, or just phobia of your own personal uh, past which actually might have cast a shadow on you all right you're just leaving it to heal like leave leaving it as it is but what I'm seeing over here it is saying to me that you have to work on it you have to talk about it to yourself or to your new partner if you have any all right for those of you who are single you have to deal and face with deal with this this part about you this thing about you where and i feel that it is not just one it is not just one aspect of you it might be you know your past experiences it might be your own uh, your own character where you have to face it up and deal with it and make a change to yourself on yourself all right but I see most of you are not doing anything and leaving it as it is. All right, the high priestess is here. High priestess is really leaving it to divine, Le let rolling with rolling with it, rolling with time, and hoping that things will change, things will get better. You will get better. Your, your attitude will change. Your lifestyle will change. You as a person will change. But no, the cards here are saying that you have to put in the hard work. You have to put in the effort. 
okay but it seems like there is this deep hidden um, fear of yours there's this deep hidden fear of yours Virgos that you choose not to step up to deal with it to to face it to talk about it or maybe it might not be your choice but it might be it might just be you having difficulty to face it to deal with it there is this some of you could be ego I'm hearing ego some of you could be um, like embarrassment some maybe something about you that you feel embarrassed about there's something about you yourself that you couldn't that you have yet to come to terms with it that you have yet to come to accept it very close The bottom of the deck is telling me in this quarter, in this quarter itself, in your love life, you have already met, you have already found, found someone, found the kind of love that you actually wanted, found the kind of love, potential love that could potentially bring you, moved you to the next stage, to the next phase of life. Or you have found someone who could potentially fit into your type of partner your type of lover your type of love relationship or your type of marriage all right for those of you who are couple you have potentially see foresee and see the future between the both of you or have made plannings future plannings between the both of you in this relationship dynamic could be marriage could be engagement or just long-term relationship all right. This is the overall general energy being the Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands has identified, has something identified for her, her life, her love life. All right, her love life and about the person that she's dealing with. She knows what she wants. She knows what she can be getting out of this relationship or this person. But there are hidden issues, hidden fears, hidden phobias, hidden uh, behavior about you yourself it is more about you yourself Virgos you need to come to terms with it with yourself whatever and everything about you all and everything about you and communication seems to be a part a major part of uh, a major highlight over here in this quarter where it's like you will have minor minor sparkles that ignite a breakup a breakup a blow up of a of a to a blow up of a of a fallout of a of a breakup okay so so for another group of you I mentioned that before for some of you who are dealing with uh, like challenging situation right now within your marriage or your relationship there will be a tweak to it there will be a change so just address just deal with the conflict just deal with the with the friction of this relationship i think you will be fine or just bear with it do not do not be uh overly emotional do not make a hasty decision to leave the relationship or to break up the relationship just hang in there for this quarter it might not be easy it might just get on your nerves to want to leave but there will be a tweak to a storyline, to the storyline. I would like to, I would like to draw, let me draw, yeah. So remember the message card, we have good fortune and friendship. So ultimately this whole relationship dynamic belongs to something good for you. All right, this good fortune and friendship, I mean, a relationship is like a friendship as well. So ultimately, this whole relationship is actually good fortune to you. It belongs to you. It is faithful and um, it, is just, it is just what you deserve for yourself. Something good over here. All right, so for those of you who are really dealing with critical situation in your love relationship, in your love life, critical, critical critical events I don't I don't see any um, like there's no cause for concern there's no cause for worrying nothing at all it looks pretty good for me even though I could see that there will be some bumps and some some bumps and humps and hiccups I'm just trying to clarify I will draw 
Let me see how many cards would I draw. I will draw a couple of cards. One last shuffle for Virgos to complement this reading. One last shuffle for Virgos to complement this reading for additional messages as well. Let's see what do we have for Virgos for this quarter. For this quarter. Okay, so we're done. I'm going to draw, going to pull three more cards. Yeah, so Virgos, the additional messages for you is that you have to stop going again, stop fighting. If there is any conflict between you and your partner or whoever that you're dealing with, your love life, your new dates, or whoever that you're talking newly to, pull away, pull away to avoid conflict. So whenever, whenever conversation comes to a peak, peak, peak meaning to say, like, both of you are having this agreement, misalignment, not agreeing with one another, just pull away, just pull away. Let them be, let them have their own time, and you can have your own time, work on your own. Just pull away, stop the conversation, all right? This is you, seven of seven of ones, stop fighting, all right? Pull away, stop fighting, and try to juggle, try to manage. This is about more like managing expectation. Try to manage, balance out, like it's like temperance. So try to manage, try to balance out. Like when one is heated, so one, the other person got to be cool. Cool. Try to balance out. Oh. Try to balance out. And um, and then we have the last card, Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords in reverse. So this Nine of Swords in reverse is really a lot about acceptance, letting go, stop overthinking, stop being overly sensitive and be more accepting to the other person. Like It looks a lot to me like the other person is really a tough nut to crack. It is a tough nut to crack. It's not easy. It's not easy for you. It's not going to be easy to be talking to them, talking with them, all right? But it is telling me that you just have to exercise some self-constraint. Whenever um, conflicts are on the horizon, pull away. Just stop the conversation tactically. I'm not saying like ignoring messages or blocking off, but just say that, oh, we'll talk later when we are better. We'll come back to this, come back again when we are better, okay? So Virgos, this is what I have for you. I think it's pretty good. Just uh, some minor uh, minor hiccups over here and communication is the issue over here. So, but this quarter, this quarter your love life seems to be, um, seems to be kind of, um, there would be drama, there would be dramas coming from either, either side or both side. All right. There will be some dramas over here, but ultimately you should get past uh, and you should get over all these challenges, obstacles, or roadblocks in your love life, in your love relationship. Okay, so Virgos, this is the reading that I have for you. I hope you like it. And uh, if you haven't watched the, your general reading for uh, all the other general aspects of life, you can actually w uh, look out for the general read video. If I could, I will try to link it after this video. Otherwise, you could just search it through the list. Till then, I will see you again soon. Virgos, bye-bye.